Most of us are going to need two things out of our TV sets, a home theater PC system, something like an Apple TV or Roku, and a gaming experience. For me, I'm a huge retro gaming fanatic. The hand-eye coordination, the fun, the nostalgia, and not having to go through loads of setup just to play a game. I can get both in one tiny but powerful box, and it'll cost me less than an Apple TV. It's a little computer called the Raspberry Pi 3. It's a little motherboard that fits in the palm of your hand, and it's well under a hundred bucks. But we've got most of what we need here. Bluetooth 4.2, Wi-Fi, a quad-core processor, a case, and heat sinks. It's easy to put together, and with a micro SD card, you can put your software on. The software I chose to install is Kodi for the home theater PC experience, and RetroPie for the gaming. You can get this software and load it onto a micro SD card, along with the operating system in a few steps. We recommend going on to Reddit and checking out their tutorials. Their user base are really on top of these things. After that, it's a matter of a little bit of setup. For Kodi, you can install add-ons, and with the Pi, you can plug in an external drive of video to enjoy too. With RetroPie, it's a matter of loading any ROMs of retro games onto the micro SD card, and then you can have them available to play. This is where things get a little murky legally, so make sure you own the game that you're getting the ROM for. And to really enhance that retro gaming experience, uh, I picked up a few little Bluetooth wireless controllers from 8-Bit Do. Kind of looks like the old uh, Nintendo uh, little game pads. These things are fantastic for playing all the different retro arcade games and all the different console games uh, as well. Cody and RetroPie are my two favorite things to do with my Raspberry Pi, and getting one for your TV is probably the best thing you can do.